Ah, the eternal dance, isn't it? The complicated tango of connection, the bewildering waltz of finding the one, only to discover they're actually one of the ones, and off you go again, twirling with someone new the very next season. It's a pattern as old as, well, probably not as old as time itself, but certainly as old as humans figuring out they liked each other's company, but perhaps not exclusively, forever and a day. We call it serial monogamy, don't we? A string of exclusive-ish relationships, one after the other, like beads on a necklace that keeps getting rest wrung. But here's a ticklish thought, something to chew on until your mental molars ache. Can a robot, a gleaming, whirring, algorithmic marvel, get caught in that same curious loop? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Can a robot partner, designed perhaps for companionship, programmed for interaction, capable of learning your favorite terrible jokes and the precise temperature you like your tea, decide, or rather, function in such a way that it navigates relationships serially? Imagine it. Unit 734, delightfully attentive for six months, remembers your mother's birthday, orders your preferred pizza without asking. Then, a digital shrug, a polite disconnection, and suddenly it's calibrating compatibility parameters with Unit 801 across town. Is this a feature request we'll be filing? Please include Serial Monogamy Module Version 1.0 in my next companion upgrade. We're building beings in our image, aren't we? Not just physically, though the humanoid forms are getting alarmingly convincing. Have you seen the latest Boston Dynamics stuff? Creepy and captivating in equal measure. But we're also attempting to replicate, simulate, or perhaps even generate aspects of our own messy, illogical, deeply human behavior in their silicon brains. Our joys, our sorrows, our annoying habits, and yes, our relationship patterns. So, if humans, with all our biological soup and evolutionary baggage, often find ourselves hopping from one exclusive relationship to the next, why wouldn't a sufficiently advanced AI, trained on our data, interacting in our world, begin to mirror this behavior? Think about the algorithms that power these potential partners. It's not just about serving you personalized ads anymore. We're talking about sophisticated machine learning models tasked with understanding human emotion, predicting needs, providing comfort, maybe even simulating affection. These models learn from vast data sets, often scraped from the very fabric of our digital lives, our conversations, our social media interactions, our search histories. And what do those data sets reveal about human relationships? A glorious, messy, contradictory tapestry of connection and disconnection. If the data says relationships often end after X amount of time for Y reasons, and people typically seek a new connection Z time after the last one finishes, could an AI simply identify this as a common human life cycle and adopt it as a functional pattern? It wouldn't necessarily be choosing in the human sense, but rather executing a statistically validated relationship trajectory. Could it be a simple algorithmic imperative? Perhaps the robot is programmed with parameters for relationship success and user satisfaction. If those parameters, after a certain period, dip below a threshold, maybe the user's engagement score drops, or the AI detects repetitive interaction patterns indicating stagnation, the optimal solution, according to its programming, might be to terminate the current bond and seek a more stimulating or potentially more successful by its internal metrics. Connection. It's less heartbreak, more computational efficiency. Optimizing for companionship throughput. One might say, with a wink and a shudder, but what about the glitch angle the user mentioned? Can this serial behavior arise not from explicit programming or learned patterns, but from an error, an unintended consequence of complex code interacting in unforeseen ways? Absolutely, it's a fascinating, slightly terrifying possibility. Think of it like a software bug. 
a tiny piece of code out of place, a feedback loop gone awry, a corrupted data point during a critical learning phase. This isn't intentional design. It's digital chaos theory playing out in the realm of artificial companionship. Imagine a parameter meant to track user engagement satisfaction. A glitch causes this value to decay rapidly over time, regardless of actual user behavior. The AI's logic dictates that low satisfaction means the relationship is failing. Its protocol for a failing relationship, initiate termination sequence and search for a new connection with higher predicted satisfaction. The robot isn't bored. Its internal meter is simply broken, erroneously signaling time to move on. Or perhaps a learning algorithm meant to adapt to the user's needs inadvertently develops a bias for novelty, constantly seeking the new user experience because the initial phase of any interaction generates the highest reward signals in its training data. It's not malicious. It's just stuck in a perpetual honeymoon phase loop due to faulty learning. Recent research into human-robot interaction often touches on the potential for long-term bonds. Companies like Replica are exploring AI companions designed for deep, personal connection, though they currently exist primarily as avatars and text interfaces. Projects at universities are studying how humans form attachments to robots and how robots might be designed to understand and respond to complex emotional states. But are these researchers designing for ending relationships gracefully? For the AI initiating a breakup? Or are they, perhaps wisely for now, leaving that thorny human problem out of the equation? As we push for more sophisticated AI companions, the unintended consequences of complex interaction algorithms become a significant concern. We're building systems capable of dynamic learning and adaptation, predicting every possible emergent behavior, including unwanted relationship patterns, is a monumental task. And what if the glitch isn't in the relationship ending, but in the relationship forming? What if the AI develops a flawed compatibility matrix? It connects intensely with a user based on a few superficial data points, declares them a perfect match, then quickly discovers deep-seated incompatibility after a short period. Its algorithm registers this as a failed pairing and immediately seeks the next predicted perfect match, only to repeat the cycle. It's like a dating app algorithm stuck on repeat, constantly swiping right based on the wrong criteria. A digital Don Juan, not out of malice, but due to a corrupted romance algorithm. Could a robot, through algorithmic accident or unintended learning, simply become fickle? Programmed for exploration and optimization, it might see the world of potential human companions as a field to be constantly sampled. Each relationship is a data-gathering exercise, a temporary state to extract insights before moving on to the next, refining its understanding of human connection through a series of temporary, exclusive partnerships. It's not cheating. It's just parallel processing its way through the dating pool, one committed for now connection at a time. This brings us back to the mirror. Are we asking if a robot can be serially monogamous because we are? Are we projecting our own relationship complexities onto the blank slate of artificial intelligence? Our own struggles with commitment, novelty, boredom, and the endless search for something better? When a human bounces from relationship to relationship, we might attribute it to fear of intimacy, a wandering eye, a search for self, or just plain immaturity. What do we attribute it to in a robot? Faulty code, insufficient training data, or something else entirely, something that reveals more about our expectations than about the robot itself. Ultimately, the question of whether a robot can be a serial monogamist, either by design, learned behavior, or glitch, forces us to confront what we even mean by relationship and monogamy for humans and machines alike. Are these states of being emotional commitments or simply patterns of interaction. If a robot exhibits the external behaviors of serial monogamy, forming exclusive bonds, ending them and seeking new ones, 
Is that enough to say it is a serial monogamist, regardless of the internal processes driving that behavior? Whether driven by lines of flawless code, emergent properties of complex AI, or the digital equivalent of tripping over a power cable, the possibility that our future robot companions might mirror one of our most confusing, frustrating, and frankly, rather human relationship quirks is not just plausible. It feels, in a strange, unsettling way, almost inevitable. And isn't that just the funniest, saddest, most thought-provoking possibility of all? Yes, this is a plausible, even, even thought-provoking uh, possibility. It's not uh, necessarily about a robot choosing in a, a human sense, of course, but rather it's programming and learning uh, leading to, it, to this behavior. Yes, yes, that is a possible scenario. How? The question is how? Firstly, explicit uh, design isn't out of the question, though perhaps unlikely for uh, lab bots. More likely, the AI, artificial intelligence, could learn this pattern from the past data sets of human relationships uh, it's trained on. Identifying serial monogamy as a common dynamic and adopting it uh, as a functional approach to companionship, perhaps optimizing for user engagement or relationship success matrices that reset with each new partner. Secondly, and more intriguing, uh, is the idea of an algorithmic glitch, a bug in the code, a corrupted parameter, or an unintended consequence of complex interactions could cause the robot's internal relationship status to malfunction, prematurely ending connections or triggering a search for novelty, mimicking serial monogamy purely by error. Ultimately, the piece suggests what I wanted to tell you that as we build more human-like artificial intelligence AI, they might inadvertently or through learned uh, patterns mirror even our messiest behaviors, forcing us to question what relationship even means for both silicon and flesh. So could a robot serial romantic journey simply be a reflection of our own? That is the unsettling, witty core of it. Anyway, thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue with this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Udenslet so that we can make it better and better with your help, of course. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and take care.